Hello, Andy from Cornish Motorcycle Diaries here, and today I'm going to go through the Ducati website and roast it. And along the way, I'm going to give you one very good reason why you should consider buying a single cylinder Ducati. Roll credits. So, taking a look at the general website first of all before we go into detail. So, at the top we've got a line of options, models, current offers, financial services, DWP, configurator, test ride and find a dealer. Today we're going to focus on essentially three bikes, the Scrambler, the Monster and the Hypermotard 698. The reasons for that will become clear, but, but yes, you should get an idea of what's good, what's not so good and what to avoid with Ducati. Okay, what do I think of the Ducati website? Well, I'm going to give it a tick. And the reason why I think it's a well-constructed, logically well-laid-out site. I'm going to leave the um, expensive Exotica, you know, the Diavels, the Diavel X, and uh, that abomination, the Bentley collaboration. What were Ducati thinking of? Big cross for that one. It's a really gross uh, consumerist, um, capitalist nonsense. You know, these are Italian boys. Well, actually, no, they're German. It's a German company now. So that's probably why the website is so well laid out. So, yeah, tick for the website. But what am I going to look at? Well, I think I'm going to keep it to the uh, affordable uh, by Ducati standards, that is. I mean, you can pay an awful lot for any Ducati motorcycle if you spend too much money. Piece of advice number one, set a budget and stick to it. You can go seriously off piste and uh, end up with something you didn't want. Now, quite a lot of things to consider along the way. Now, when you're looking for a new bike, it's always a wise idea to check out any special offers. And I'm just showing here the uh, current offers screen from Ducati. And the one that is of note is of the Scramble Accelerate scheme. This is one which I think is actually worth looking at because what it does is you pay 50% deposit at outset. So... Let's say the Ducati Scrambler is 10 grand. Well, that's five grand up front, but then two years of not paying anything, and then you pay the balance at the end. Now, as with all finance officers, look into it in more detail. And as I just said, remember what your budget is. And of course, you will have to stump up the extra money. So don't just sit there thinking, well, what am I going to do with it? But you could be saving money into a savings account that pays you interest over that two years. So you could end up paying less overall for the bike than the actual list price. Figurator is where all the action happens. We're going to ignore the Exotica, the Diavels, the Panigals uh, and and so forth and we're going to stick with real world bikes because I think we're looking at the best bang for the buck and I think the best bang for the buck should be coming in with the Scrambler, Monster and the new Hyper Motard 699 or 698. So I'm going to look at the Monster first of all and again this is 11295 uh, that gets you 111 brake horsepower but for me I think for a moderate price this is a good bike to own for a Ducati. Now Ducati are also pretty good at the uh, adjusting for the owner so you can get a lower seat, you can get a higher seat, you can get lowered suspension albeit at the price. Actually with the Monster which is nominally 820 millimeter seat height you can bring it down to 775 millimeters with the adjustment kits. Okay you're paying for a seat, you're paying for the um, suspension changes in actual fact, that means that you can get the Monster to a lower seat height than the Scrambler, which is nominally a lower bike, but because of the different suspension design, you can't do a lowered suspension kit in the same way. Uh, consider that the Scrambler is 9995 and the Monster starts at 11295. Bear in mind, these are all starting prices and they can go up very abruptly if you get any of the fancy accessories. Uh, at one place that I, I saw an exhaust seven and a half thousand pounds. Now bear in mind, that's for a, a Panigale. So we're talking differently there. If you're buying a Monster where the actual exhaust price can be another two grand on top, talking maybe 20, 30% of the, of the model price for one thing. Consider carefully what you need. Budget, budget, budget. Never buy a bike without a test ride. That's just a no-no. There's also a good 360 view as in here. And they also do top-down views as well, which uh, 
BMW and, and Triumph were very poor at. And I think you know, you need that top-down view because that's your view when riding. That's what you see. And if you don't like it, that's not, you know, if the instrument panel or the tank or, you know, something is, is putting you off, then you're not going to enjoy riding the bike. So there we are. There's a Jakashi Monster. Now, I've, I've done some configurations. I'll flash those up on screen to show you exactly what you could get and you could end up paying 20 plus grand for a, a monster easily even a scrambler you need to think about which are the necessary accessories for you there is also a huge uh, worldwide third party market so if you don't get what you want with Ducati you can probably find something that's out there possibly even more exotic if you're going for something along that that line but if you're in the real world buying a real world bike scrambler monster and I think the new Hyper Motard. Now, if you're considering a scrambler, uh, the good thing about this is the infinite variety of colorways that you can select, which will personalize it to your liking. Now, I think that's, that's really good and relatively affordable. Um, so looking at uh, this particular scrambler icon, which I've chosen a bronzed colorways for that I think looks very different and is relatively easily changeable so if you're in a, a group of friends and maybe two or three of you got these bikes there's no need to look the same as the guy next to you so that's a positive put point what I would say about the scrambler is and I'll perhaps put up something on screen to show you is that the uh, Desmo valve clearances have to be um, adjusted after seven and a half thousand miles which is possibly only two years or maybe even one year if you ride a lot, certainly three years at that absolute most. And uh, that can be quite expensive, especially when added to on top of the existing service costs. Whereas if you're getting a, a, a bike with one of the newer engines, which includes the Monster and the um, Hyper Motard, that has doubled the service interval. In fact, longer even. I think the Hyper Motard is 18,000 miles. So that means that your costs of servicing come down quite a lot. So the amount you might save on a scrambler by buying it in the first place being cheaper might be eroded as you go through time. You need to think about the overall cost because you could get caught out later on by buying something that you end up not being able to afford because you didn't consider things like servicing, um, insurance and so forth. Okay, so we've taken an overall look at the Ducati website without going into too much detail, giving it generally the thumbs up. We've had a look at the Scrambler. We had a look at the next model up, the Monster, and is also pretty customizable too. But now let's look at a more left of field option. And that option is the new Hyper Motard. Um, that comes in at 10995 for the base model, which just slightly undercuts the monster. The power output is around 77 horsepower, which goes up to 84 if you fit the performance exhaust, I believe. Plenty for a bike that weighs as much as a, as a feather pillow. Again, I just said it's not a bike for the uh, short asses like myself, so I can just look at it. But for the younger crowd and for people wanting a bit something a bit more different, something they can have sport on without paying a fortune, this is great for that sort of thing. So Hyper Motard Racing is well established. And uh, this is a good, good entrance into it. Ducati obviously being the premium brand in this sector. There are other, other options available. But with the Hyper Motard, it's not got so many configuration options. You've got the usual carbon fiber and electronics gizmos. But what really sets it apart and what is its unique selling point for me and the one reason why I think you should consider this will come up in a moment. But let's have a look at it. Again, you can have a 360 degree view, which does take a few seconds to load these. Now, there we are in the middle of the mountain somewhere. Well, actually, it's the same backdrop for all of them. So this is a only probably. So 360 view gives you all the angles and you've got plenty of other angles. You can change the backdrop to be urban, which is probably the more likely uh, hunting ground of this particular uh, beastie. Um, on the right, all the accessories you can select. I won't go into any of that really. Okay, night view, that's good. And there's a zoom. So plenty you can look at there, and I do encourage you to spend time looking at these things. 
But this is the killer point. This is, you know, where it starts to get interesting. Electronics. So there's quite a lot here. But the first point is ABS cornering with slide by brake. In other words, you can slide round corners like a speedway rider. That's pretty amazing, I think. I don't think I'd ever like me to try it myself, but uh, that sounds like it's fun. We've got wheelie control. We're now going to be very useful for a bike that's going to be wanting to pop wheelies all the time. But this is a very advanced electronics package. But this, this is going to be the killer. What about this? Yes, wheelie assist. Ducati want you to wheelie this bike. They actively encourage wheelies. Now, just for a moment, I might say this is not obviously on public roads, so don't try it on uh, outside your local chip shop in front of a local pub because they will nick you. What that also does is it helps riders who are maybe less confident to be able to do some of those stunts, tricks and uh, amazing things that you know people like me can only dream of so if you're young if you're fairly tall um, with this bike you could have some really good fun on it without practice maybe going too fast it's certainly not a bike for every single day use but on the other hand it's a bike you can have a lot of fun on so that for me is the unique selling point of the new hyper motard so that's my left of field recommendation, a Hyper Motard 698 Mono. Hope you've enjoyed watching this little critique of the Ducati website. Hasn't been too much critique actually. Overall, rust score of I think 0.5. Done pretty well actually overall Ducati. It can get a bit overwhelming when you get into all the tech stuff. But if you're just buying a bike, I think it's moderately straightforward with this one. Certainly less intimidating than I was imagining it. Ducati get the provisional thumbs up from me. But as I said, set a budget and stick to it. Consider the finance options. Consider the overall maintenance costs, including those dreaded Desmo service intervals. And if you do all those things, You'll have a happy time on your Ducati. So where are we going to go next with these website roasts? Well, I'll tell you what, we haven't been there yet, but I think it is time. Time to head for the land of the rising sun and go to Japan and roast one of the big four Japanese manufacturers. Keep your eyes peeled for more news. In the meantime, I've been Andy from Cornish Motorcycle Diaries. Please like, comment, subscribe. It means a lot to me. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye for now.